What's up everybody, it's Brian with you from the GameCom, and we are playing some more Total War Warhammer 2. We are continuing with our Dark Elf campaign. And yeah, I'm still sick. Um, I'm recording this the same day as the last episode. I wasn't gonna actually do that, but I'm really enjoying this game, so I wanted to keep playing it, so yeah. We have an imminent rebellion. I know about that, whatever. Let's go ahead and launch. Oh yeah, our ship's gonna go, crap. I should have done that first. Oh, well. Um, so Leviathan surfaces. With a gush... I hate you so much. <laughs> With a gush of putrid water, the bloated corpse of an ancient sea leviathan surfaces close by. Kerr is sent to investigate to see what secret the cadaver and ancient sea beast will bestow. Such an, ex such an expedition is not without risk, as these creatures, when alive, are known to host parasites the size of wolves or and even colonies of needle-toothed aquatic man-things. Oh, that's what scary. Hey, I was reading you, punk. Oh, no, I'm destroying you now because you interrupted me. I was talking. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. On this occasion, the corpses is brift uh, passengers, but there are valuables to be found within the skulking, stinking gut. So we get the blast, brass cleaver and treasury. Huh, not bad. What are our quests, by the way? Ensure sorceress abode. Oh, that's why we're going to build the sorceress abode. Eh. So, oh, well. Oh, you're a tiny little army. I really honestly did not expect them to go up there. <laughs> uh, I should have I should have seen that coming. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Hey, build an army up. Good. Go you. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. I'm just never going to be freaking happy down here, are we? Well, we're at plus four, so. Oh, well, and we have a slightly larger army now, too. Uh, let's go settle it. I should have just colonized last turn then, apparently. But I'm pretty sure that army would have actually spawned outside here. And that would have put us at a really awkward spot. I think we probably made the right choice. Better that they just go ahead and destroy me. That's fine. So, Sulfurides, go ahead and build up. Tyrant Peak... You know what keeps confusing me? This is Titan Peak, not Tyrant Peak. I keep seeing Tyrant Peak thinking it's Titan Peak. No, that's this province up here. Okay. Well, at least we're at plus seven happiness. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that was all my money, but hey, sure. Um, let's go ahead and level up our... Get the corruption, please. Thank you, because we definitely need the corruption up here. Uh, what is our corruption? Oh, we're actually going to get a rebellion, too. Actually, this is their province still. I watch from All right. Shadows. Well, it was nice knowing you. Goodbye. Wait. Wait. What are we doing? Are we burning these down? I'm burning this one down. Because Pits of Zardok is their province. I don't really care. Uh, You are Nagar Nagarond. So I think I'm just burning them both down. So let's go ahead and auto-resolve both of these. As long as we didn't lose a unit, it should be fine. We lost 50. So we can grab, uh, we can grab 3,000 if we sack it. I think I want to sack it. And then we'll raise it next turn. So enemy killed in battle. We gained another follower. All right, I do need to take a look at my followers and weapons and stuff. And let's go ahead and just finish you off. And we're gonna go ahead and raise. Goodbye. So they're gonna live one more turn. Oh well. You then. Uh, this is my Dreadlord. We gave him Dark Steed. He already has the... He does not have the best... The better weapon strength. I think we want to grab that one. Yeah. I mean, leadership... and eh, none of these are great. Leadership is good, because you want your hero to, um... Basically stay in the fight as long as possible, so... No now, I can't actually move them. Despair. I probably will go ahead and... Yeah, I'll start moving down and starting to take these provinces. Um, you're at 20 freaking three, which is hell yeah. You already have your max level um, you, uh, mount, so we can grab missile resistant, eh, power drain. I guess we might as well grab that. And then sorceress. So, yo, what is this Kindle Flame? It's a ward save hex. Passive ability, Kindle Flame. So everyone around her basically gets weakness to fire damage. Okay, I didn't read that properly. So we're going to grab Evasion so we can get to the 
top tier. Oh my gosh, bombardment. Hell yeah. <laughs> and another vortex. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm excited for this. Okay. Now we can go occupy it. Now that we... I hate how you can't raise it the same turn. We could loot and occupy it, but... Eh. I could just occupy it too, but... Eh. Uh, so really, there's not much we can do. So let's just go ahead and channel then. Oh, wait. No. Let's raid. Hell yeah. Pick up 181 gold. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Make me some money. So we still have our other sorceress we can recruit. Let's actually take a look. I'm not actually really taking a look at our provinces here recently. So you are unhappy. You're only getting plus one when it comes to corruption. How's the corruption going here? It's actually evened out. So you know what we're going to go ahead and do? I'm going to... Oh, I thought I could get another death hag. Dang. These guys just give me scouting public order. Eh. Aggressive, charge bonus, weapon strength. Leadership, all units and army. That actually seems pretty ridiculously good. Sheeda? Sheeda? Shelda? I think Shelda. She doesn't have a cool mask like Alaron. Oh, well. I don't think it's worth it yet until we can actually move our armies in this direction. Um, Black Coast can build a building. Ashen Coast. I think it's just telling me the walls are not built up yet, which is what's happening there. And so then let's go ahead and upgrade you. And that's fine. Gray Guardians. Hmm. Black Coast. Hmm. Happiness is great here, so we're okay. We might go ahead and grab this. This gives me upkeep for Dark Riders, all units. Eh, not bad. Do we have any bonuses over here for units? I don't see any. You gave me Hero Recruit for Sorceress. You gave me Recruitment Costs for Bleak Swords, Cold One Knights, Cold One. I need to actually grab the Cold Ones. Can I actually build Cold Ones here? And then you were Dread Spears, Dark Shards, Reaper Bolt. And they're all pretty much, yeah, they're all maxed out. So I definitely want to come recruit here. Where are my cold ones in this list? Dark Riders, Dark Riders, Shades, Black Arcs, Reaper Bolts, War Hydras. Ah, they're over here. Ah, we can actually build them because we have the Masonry. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and bring you down here to Quintex and start recruiting some units. And I think, like I said, we're going to go ahead and switch out the armies, like give um, our extra troops there. And then I think what I'm going to do is just let you do all of the rebuilding and just let her just come south right away. Yeah, yeah, I think I want to go ahead and do that because I want to grab Mirapool ASAP. We got one turn left there. We still can do the Sorceress right. I still don't think it's worth it. I just don't think it's good right now. We got nine turns, 18 turns, eight turns. So we're kind of waiting on all that crap. Um, I don't think there's really much else we can do. We have you and you, but you're both in the army. All our armies move, so we're good there. Um, the mission, we need the sorceress abode, but we're gonna have to wait till we're tier five there. And then we can't build anything. So the only other thing we could potentially do, let's go ahead and look here. Hey, son. You don't like me still? Can we do a trade agreement? Um, hi. I'm going to... I'm just going to throw you a small gift. There you go. We have no need of your gifts, but we accept them nonetheless. So that should start giving me a little bit of pos positive um, feels towards me next turn. You are the guy that likes me. You will not join my confederation. I wonder why. I wonder why. I mean, you're not going to get a much better attitude toward me. Okay. You do Time not like me. Speak, speak. Definitely not. I didn't really want them to accept that, but I decided to try anyways. Um, who else do we have? These guys, I actually would... Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We would totally confederate them if possible. Now, one thing I read is if you have a military alliance, they're less likely to confederate than if you just have... A defensive alliance. The four dudes, we have a military alliance. So you know what? Let's go ahead and try it. I just want a defensive alliance with you. Uh, if you're strong enough, 
Their faction will be assimilated, your own their settlements will become yours, and some of their armies be aware, depending on the balance, your income may be adversely affected. So let's just grab a defensive lines. And I almost forgot this, but yo, I want I want you money, please, for this. Low. Come on. I wanna actually make some man, why why are ill Ugh. Why is money so terrible for all the dark elves? Payments. As you say. Jeez, nine freaking hundred. That's it. Yo, you still do not want to piece me out. Okay. I don't really care about either of you guys. I will trade with you. Yeah. Might as well make me a little extra money. That's fine. New World Colonies don't like me at all. Now, what's funny is when you're actually playing as Hexital, when you're playing as Muzzamundi, um, they actually give you missions to ally with um, the New World Colonies, which I did. I ended up taking it, but then I ended up just backstabbing them and destroying because it's like these two towns are smack dab in your territory. You start here and here. Like, I want those two territories. So <laughs> I was kind of like, hi, um, yeah, here, let's be friends. Just kidding. I'm going to kill you now. So it's kind of annoying that the game like tells you to do that. This is Nagarond. Okay, so their death hags spread untainted when they're not chaos. Okay, that makes sense. I thought we sped things up. Do we not? Yo. So you have three territories, it looks like. And then he has three territories. Didn't you lose? Yeah, you lost your entire army. I forgot about that. Grand has been eliminated, obliterated. Where was Grand? We also got ammunition for dark shards and range. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I was doing that. That's nice. Bolt cartridges give me better reaper throwers. Eh, speed for cold ones. We are going to go grab some. I think we have enough slaves now to actually start like, let's make some money off these guys. Uh, unit experience, eh, eh, upkeep, eh. We do have quite a few. Leadership. Yeah, but eh. Um, Seer, we got an achievement. That was a late achievement. What is this one? Plans of the Dark Cell, dark Elves Research 10 Technologies. All right. That was weird. It was just late, though. Or Unique Experience for Dread Spears Dark Shards. I think that's just too late. And then it's plus speed. Eh. So, yeah, let's go ahead and grab this uh, money, please. Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, still can't do any rights for a little bit of time. Um, and it is a new turn, correct? I did go new turn, right? I did. Goodbye. Destroyed. Look at our unit experience here. Except some of our bleak swords are still just crappy, <laughs> which is kind of hilarious. Uh, all right, goodbye. I no longer like you. We gained another war banner. Oh yeah, we killed Hagriff. Um, so where was this other dude? Now shut up. Can we just come back here? Where was this other faction at? It just got destroyed. Probably the guys that were just probably right there would be my guess. Okay. All right. I want you to come down here and we're going to come take Ice Spear next turn. You are going to take level 24 and I don't really care about negative missile damage. I think that's just crap. Um, I can make her a better fighter. I kind of am like, don't care. I think I'd rather bump up our army. Let's see, line breakers, dread spears, bleak swords, black arc corsairs, dread shards, dread dark shards. So half of those I will keep using. We're getting high level, so some of these might just not be good for us. Weapon strength for war hydra would be nice though. Melee attack for the cold knights, yeah. And witch elves, yeah. See, okay, so yeah, I think we're gonna want to go down there. What is stand or die? It's just rally. Oh, it replaces rally. Leadership melee defense. Time for bloodlust gives us weapon strength. Oh, oh, that's really good. Okay, you've convinced me. The other thing I can do, enchanting beauty. Eh, meh. Not bad. Yeah, I think let's make her army more badass. We could also come down here and reduce, uh, reduce the upkeep costs, but I'm kind of like whatever on that. Uh, so immortality, boom. So many lives to take. <laughs> ah, that was great. So, can't really do much with you. I need to get you down here as quick as possible. He actually had a uprising. Huh. 
So, do we want to hold out here? No, they have two provinces. But if this uprising comes and takes over this province, I may actually want to come take it back. Um, since it's just two provinces. I just don't really want to declare war on those guys for no reason. Uh, hey, while you're here, let's go ahead and come take this, right? How's our happiness in this province? It's going up by six. I think that's fine. Let's just get you going up here. Are we still positive? No, we're not. Dang. Negative freaking three. That sucks. All right, that's fine. She'll be able to be back in town in two turns. Um, what else can we go ahead and start building? Uh, this makes me, what, 200 gold? So that definitely seems worth it. Uh, and that was all my income yet again. We're making okay money, but we're not making great money. So this is going to be a couple turns where we're just speeding through at this point, I guess. It's not really much else for me to do. Now, you lose loyalty on your troops if you remove um, troops from their army. Uh, if I'm adding troops to their army, I'm assuming that they don't care as much. I would, I would assume that they don't actually, like, they're not against that, so. Yo, before we start, let's see. How are you liking me? He's actually going happy now with me. That's good. Will you trade with me, please? Yes. Yes. Pay me. Pay me. Oh, and it's still moderate. Guys, we're actually going to be able to make money off someone. Oh, we're actually going to be able to make money. Okay, so let's try 24 to begin. They want to give me 1,200. How about 21? How about 18? I hate you so much. <laughs> no. All right, not 18. Let's try uh, payments. We're just gonna do one at a time. Give me 15 then. I think you already offered me that. Okay, so now these are both yellow. Give me military access. I approve. Okay. And I will take a defensive alliance. Alright, just seeing. Who are we not trading with that we could be? You. I actually didn't want you to take it, but alright, that's fine. That's gonna piss off these guys a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah. Negative eight for that one. Oi, sorry. Yeah, about that. I'm sorry. No now, you guys don't suppose you want to join the confederation still. No, nope. nope. Just checking. Just checking. Okay. Time to colonize. Oh. Give me Ice Spire. We could also treasure hunt. It's just going to take so long to treasure hunt all of these maps. Ah, uh, fine. While searching through the ruins of a city, almost leveled by war, uh, you notice an unfamiliar band of scavengers picking carefully through the ruins. Potentially, this is not good, as one wrong word could see you all dead. How do you wish? Give them a wide berth. Offer to help them search. All right. Your gut feeling, you join up with the scavengers. However, they disappear with some of your belongings. All right. Yes. Screw you, game. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Whatever. Whatever. Leadership aura size. Leadership melee attack. Melee defense. Eh. Let's prove leadership aura. Okay, then. That's fine. Let's get you moving down this way. And I would like you to actually meet up with these guys. So, please. I can't actually get you up there. Dang, that sucks. All right, put you on rush. Well, that sucks. I'm not going to be able to get there in time. At least we'll be able to get there before the rebellion pops. Okay, so it's going to take like 10 turns for me to do anything. Uh, so we can upgrade our settlement. We can upgrade our money. We can also build a new building here. We have not built the woodman's hut, which will give me more trade, which seems like a good idea. What other unique buildings? This is only at tier five. Okay. So I almost kind of want to just keep our population surplus so we can get you up to tier four tier five oh that's actually a tier four huh it actually gives you a three garrison of war hydra that's pretty ridiculous so yeah let's go ahead and hold on to our growth here 
So let's go ahead and take more money for now. And that's going to be about all I can do, correct? Provinces. We are losing happiness here. We already knew about that one. We are also unhappy here. And we're actually really close to popping. Well, that shucks. The irony is I actually don't even care about this province because it's part of these guys. That's why I wish they would just join me. So what are you a part of? Oh, this is a four province. Hmm, okay. Whatever. Uh, one other thing I want to take a look at. Where's my shippy? Black Ark, man. Where are you at? Okay. Yo. I actually need you to come up over here, please. Here, please. Please don't go through the freaking storm. That's all I ask. Dang, freaking game. Okay, next turn. Uh, hold up. Ah, OBS. How long have we been going? 20 minutes. Okay. There's a lot less units on... Uh, up here now, it seems, are a lot less uh, uh, civilizations. What do you want to call them? Races? Banners? Okay. Let's go ahead and settle now. Finally. Hi. Colonize. Boom. Okay, we're making plus 10, which isn't terrible. We do have two death hags in the army, so we should gain really good HP. I would hope. You need to get y'all butt over here. You need to get your butt over here. And we're not gonna... We're gonna settle it right away. Um, simply due to the uh, uh, lack of happiness in this area. Province secured. Cool. Now here's the one thing with the death hags and I'm actually not even considering. I have both the death hags right here and they're um, bumping up how much HP I'm gaining. But we may want to send them elsewhere so we can get more corruption. We are getting corruption there. Actually, hold up. Can I see here? Ashen Coast, our corruption is going up. Grey Guardians, our corruption is going up. Iron Peaks, our corruption is staying the same, but it's at 86. Black Coast is going up. Obsidian Peaks, it is going up. It's going up there. Uh, it's going up there. Oh, God, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Um, we're going to have a we're going to have a freaking pop. Uh, that's bad. OK, so this is what I'm going to have to do. I hate doing this. I'm going to have to recruit another Lord. We actually have a new one back. Yeah, he didn't like me, though. But here's the thing with the loyalty. When they reach zero, they will rebel. Was he actually good? He was okay. So here's the thing. I'm going to build a bunch of troops in his army, which is actually going to make him like me a little better. Perceptive. Weapon strength. Melee attack. Sword and crossbow. Sword and shield. I'm kind of for weapon strength, all units and armies. And your upkeep's gonna increase by a thousand, which freaking sucks. Is there any way for me to get over here in two turns? We'll get to like right there, and then we'll get like right there. But we're not gonna be in a good position to actually come defeat them. We have a pretty decently sized garrison there, so that's good. And in one turn, we're actually going to upgrade. But I think our happiness, how can we Lack of corruption. Yeah, there's just no way for me to get rid of that. I'm wondering why it went up this turn versus last turn. I think I need to actually recruit a lord. I hate it. But I think I need to go ahead and do it. So give me the spiteful one. And please be okay. Three of ten isn't terrible. Um, I actually don't have money to recruit. Whoops. Actually, you know what? We did start building some buildings, so we're just gonna have right. We're just gonna have to find what buildings we built this turn and canceled some of them. Uh, which sucks. Okay, what was I? What did I start building? No. No. We didn't start any buildings here. How did we just run out of money so quickly? Oi. That was all last turn. You're all maxed out here. What did I do? Oh, I colonized twice. That's what I freaking did. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. 
Okay, so then the only other thing we could do is potentially trade with someone for something. Hi, does someone want to give me money? Your business. Will you just offer me a... Will you just give me, like, this for no reason? Indeed. Woo! <laughs> do they hate me for that? I actually don't care that much. All right. Yes. You may speak your words. Hi. They will change. Do you give me 300 gold? I suppose. Sweet. Hell yeah. All right. So that might have just made us enough money to recruit a couple troops. Woo, woo, woo. Let's actually put you in here. Uh, and then I want... We only have crappy units here. We can do dark riders, which aren't bad. All right, so we have 450. We can only recruit three. So six, a thousand. Yeah, we can afford this. So boom, boom, and boom. And then the 2400, we should have enough to um, get a, a, a another group of units. I can't actually recruit any units here, so we're probably going to have to actually let the... Uh, the the rebellion pop which sucks but okay so next turn i'm gonna move you out i'm gonna move you down i'm gonna give you some of my units i'm probably gonna take one of the reaper bolt throwers is there a reason to recruit a new one actually yeah yeah because i do have wood here which gives me what plus two unit experience for reaper bolt throwers and i don't have any reaper bolt experience on these guys so yeah and in fact you know what Go ahead and disband some of these units. Her loyalty is still 10 of 10. That's okay. Okay, still 10 of 10. I think that's fine. And that's just to help my upkeep just a little bit because we are... Uh, we're spending quite a bit of money with all our armies. Okay. Unassigned skill points. This is our sorceress. Cool. Um, Don't care about either of those. Bombardment? Or flame. Let's do bombardment because we have vortex. Unassigned skill points. This is for my death hag. We've already gotten you as max there as possible, so let's do aura size for you. Skill point for our second or third actual leader. Where are we giving you? The car T's magic resistant, missile resistance. Eh. I don't really care about either of those. We've been giving you line breakers, so sure. Take another one. Let's dread the slaver. Commandment available. Ooh, okay. So we are losing happiness in here. So I would like to take public order plus four. Um, we should also take a look at our other commandments. What are we doing here? This is tax rate. I think that's fine. Chaos corruption might not be a bad thing, but eh. Or we could do income from slaves 10%. So what is our tax rate? Our taxes are... So we're making 200 gold basically off the tax rate is what it looks like. So this is going to give me plus 10%. Ironically, we actually have enough surplus now almost to build the dreaded city. We're almost there. But I think actually increasing our tax, um, our income 10% would be better. Let's see. Income, Black Coast, we're making 2,000, so that would be 200. And I said the taxes were giving us what, approximately? A little over 200. So it seems like the tax rate is just slightly better. Okay. That kind of sucks. You just have the public order. I don't think you actually need the public order anymore. You don't. So let's go ahead and grab some tax rate. Uh, what is... Yeah, plus 1%. That's fine. Give me tax rate. Then Venom Glade, we actually do not control because of our freaking son who annoys me some days. But, you know, hey, what are you, your kids, you gotta love them, right? Um, this actually gives me Chaos Corruption. We're at 77%, so let's actually take the public order for now. We're only at, we're at 23. Let's take the tax rate. Let's make money. Uh, and that's about all I can do again, so let's go next turn. We'll probably do one more turn this episode. I very much did want to fight a battle in this episode, but yeah, that's probably not going to happen. I'm a little worried about um, someone... Crap. <laughs> uh, dang it. I don't want that to happen.
Now, here's the thing. They're actually at war with Hexital still, so I don't imagine we're going to have to actually worry about them. I really don't want to declare war on them. Clan Nog got obliterated. That sucks. Imminent Rebellion, yeah, we know about that. Crap. All right. Hexital should be moving on them pretty quickly, so I don't think we're going to have to worry too much. Um... All right, that was a little unexpected. Can I actually put you inside the coast? No. I admire your darkness. Never. Well, that kind of sucks. How do I actually put you in town? Huh. Oh, we can actually give you a building. So what's this do? Unit experience. This one gives me income from post battle. Eh. This gives me army replacement. Oh. Oh, those are all really nice. Uh, We can't get up to that tier. And we already have the rating lounge. So hell yeah, we want one of these probably. So Brazen Cauldron. This gives me Soul Torrent. And this gives me Kane's Flail. So here's the question. What kind of defenses do you have? You actually have a pretty large size force. Impossible. I think we can actually take them, especially considering that we're going to be within bombardment range. So let's actually put ourselves like right here. And then let's go ahead and build ourselves. I don't know. Kane's Lash. So can we actually see what we have? What's our ability? So Sky Cauldron, Kane's Lash, Soul Rain. What does this do then? Oh, it's just a better version. I gotcha. I gotcha. Let's do the Soul Brazer. Let's bump that up. And I don't think I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and recruit anything different. I think we can take their army. I mean, it's a level one hero. I'm not really that worried in the scheme of things. Um, okay, we want you to move out over here. Now, do I have to move them in? It's the only thing I'm not sure about. Well, I can't actually get them over there anyways. So we're gonna put you right here, and we're gonna keep recruiting. What is their happiness or loyalty? Eh, three still? Nope, went up to four. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we already have one Bleak Sword. Grab me one of those. Grab me one of these. And we already have one Dark Rider. So give me another Swordman. And this army should be enough to defeat whatever comes my way. Can do growth over here. Kind of want to do walls, but we can't afford it. I also wouldn't mind upping our iron mines, but we also can't afford that. So sure, we're fine. Okay, you... Spread corruption. What is our corruption? 73%? Sounds good. I'm gonna move you down here. That seems like the wrong way to walk through here, but I guess there's a bridge right there, so that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, what are you why are you going that way? That doesn't seem smart, but okay. Alright, let's go ahead and exchange some units. Now the swordsman, I almost I think I'm just gonna get rid of them, because we can get black or arc. Corsairs or Black Arc Corsairs, and they're just gonna be a hundred times better. You are also pretty crappy, both of you guys. I do want the shades. I think I will keep the dark shards because they're pretty freaking high leveled. Um, I will keep these two. I think we're good. Maybe I give you one of these. Nah, I think that's fine. Maybe I don't want this many dread spears. And they're only unit rank three, which isn't particularly great sure let's do that we're at 18 and 20 we'll probably move you in that direction and then let's go ahead and move you down here luckily she doesn't have a loyalty so she doesn't care that I just gave away all our troops I wish I could go underground because it'd be really nice like how's it how are you gonna get over to iron spike you're gonna have to walk all the freaking way around that sucks yeah that sucks Okay, now the only thing is, do I want to recruit some troops for you? Probably. 
I can only grab one troop, so I guess let's grab the one swordsman. And we're already recruiting three more troops there. Hopefully he kind of comes and helps out with my, you know, rebellion issue. Uh, how is the spar is doing great? So we're going to go ahead and move you and colonize next turn. Actually, negative eight when we're not there. Pfft, that sucks. Okay. Um, imminent rebellion we know about. Uh, can't do anything about that, but next episode we will. So for now, hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, oh, excuse me, sorry. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.